So you want to be a proper Viking? Well, you're going to need to learn how to sail and obviously craft a ship. They say you do it in tribes of Midgard. Let's go, Ratbags. Of course, the game is procedurally generated. So first off, you need to go and find Ash Beach. Now, there's a few of these should be spawning close enough to your settlement, and one of them should have the shipyard on. Now, Ash Beach is normally some sort of biome that might be a bit higher than what you're used to, especially if you haven't really got a head in weapons or armor. So make sure you've got something at least a little bit different or run to it and try and activate the shrine for later use. I lucked out here and there wasn't too many enemies, but there are normally some higher level creatures here. So you have to be careful with them. Keep an eye on the minimap and you should be able to find it a lot easier by following that. Just like the rest of the farms, you're going to need to go ahead and build it. You're going to need 500 souls, 10 wooden planks, 6 wrought iron, and 2 ancient cores. Of course, once you've upgraded the Tinkra to level 3, that's where you should be able to go ahead and start crafting cut stone, wrought iron, and of course the wooden planks. So the shipyard shouldn't be something that you focus on first. You still need to go ahead and get your quarry and your lumberjack farms up and running first. Obviously, if you're playing with a lot of others and not solo, then one of you can prioritize some of this, and one of you could be potentially the shipbuilder. But no matter what, even if you play multiplayer, it's still best advised to get the farms up running first before you even attempt to get the ships, because the ships are needed to find the end game saga boss. But we've got a long way to go before then. What you should maybe focus on is killing one of the giants. This is your best chance to get some ancient cores reliably. You do get ancient cores also from Silings, Giants, Stockfar Witches, the Blue Troll, White Troll and an Unsunken War Chief, which might be a bit closer to the actual Ash Beach, but these guys are generally pretty OP. And since you've got to kill the giants anyway to stop them destroying your settlement, you might as well kill two birds in one stone. Of course, if you do come across any of them other mobs and you've got decent armor weapons, then obviously take them out. But whatever way you do it, whether or not you kill giants or go ahead and hunt down some of the other creatures, once you've got the ancient cores, that's probably going to be one of the hardest resources to get as long as you have set up your farms. So once you've got all the ingredients, go ahead and build the shipyard. You can then build either the Faring boat, which is for solo players, the Carve boat, which is for up to four Vikings, and then the Drakkar boat, which is up to ten players. Once the yard's complete, the favoring boat will cost another six wooden boards and three pieces of yarn, and it does have a health pool of 10,000. The carve is going to cost nine wooden boards, six pieces of spun yarn, and three silver. The health for this is 40,000. And then the drakkar, that's going to cost you frozen pine bark, spun yarn, silver, and gold. Now a lot of them resources I have just rattled off, you are going to have to get some experience and look up in the journal where some of these are. And if you're still struggling in finding a lot of these, then you probably aren't ready to really go and get the boat anyway. You really should only be getting the biggest boats if you are in the group. Trying to do this solo is pretty much madness. Although it does come with better health, you won't be able to get this stuff early. And you do need to start thinking about exploring relatively soon if you want to try and complete the saga mode solo. You can go ahead and upgrade the shipyard as well, but it's obviously going to cost a lot more resources and again souls, and you'll pretty much get sturdier boats out of it. You're not always guaranteed to get a fast travel point next to the yard, it's pretty much just a lucky find, so if not, remember where you've placed it, and obviously you can still double check on the minimap. So once you've crafted your ship, you then need to just place it, tap in the L1 button to build like normal, and then scrolling through till you find your ship. You have to go into the walk quite a bit for it to turn green, and then you should be able to go ahead and place, and that's it, you're done. To get on top of your ship, you just need to go up to it and then press the X button to climb in. Once in, press the X button to speed up, or the square button to slow down, and obviously you can turn it with the left stick. To stop steering, tap the circle button and you should be on your ship. Now be careful, you can still swim of course, but your stamina will run out and there are plenty of seafaring enemies that you come across. Like these guys on the rocks that will throw spears at you, so don't get too close. It's pretty easy for the solo ship to take quite a lot of damage quickly. It's definitely a negative while doing this solo. Now you could go off using the ship to explore other lands, especially if you have explored everywhere and you can't find any of the other resources or biomes that you might need. But what you're ideally looking for is still to scout out as many ash beaches as possible. You're looking for one of these in the campsite, clear out the enemies and loot the chest. It should reveal a treasure map for a location of a beacon somewhere out in the open sea. Once you've done this three times, that's when it will reveal the location of Yamunda's lair, and that's the saga boss that you'll face off against. 
So there we go. That's everything you need to know about sailing, building your ship and your shipyards. Hopefully that's helpful and look out for my future guides where I'll be showcasing that Serpent boss fight. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Oh yeah, and go and check out the rest of the guides. I've got loads from last year that are still valid if you're going to be facing off against Fenra. But otherwise, enjoy Tribes Midgard free with PlayStation Plus this month.